there's not a lot of people I'm this close to, much less there's nobody else that I'm closer to than Joey in, in many ways. We watched Shawshank and there's a line in the movie that always stuck with us. It's get busy living or get busy dying. I grew up loving music and my dad, huge driving force. One of the bands I was in, we went to Shreveport, Louisiana. What happened, our young girl left her car on the road. She ran out of gas, turned the lights off. A car hit her and spun her into us as we're going 60 to 65 miles an hour, head on collision. Cars full of smoke, it starts to catch on fire. About a week and a half or so into this day or so is when my spleen um, ruptured. Little did I know there was friends and family coming to see me in that comatose state because my parents were calling them and saying, you may need to come sing Shane. It's probably not gonna make it tomorrow. Months after the wreck and things like that, you know, and he's kind of laying out like, here's kind of what my future might look like. Um, hey, my kidneys aren't working right now, and, and they might get better, but eventually they're not going to work anymore. Thinking at the time, like, oh, dude, you know, you know, I'll give you a kidney, like you know that. I call Shane and uh, I was like, hey man, the kidney's yours if you still want it. And I just remember him saying like, I, I don't know what to say. How do you say thank you? You know, and that was part of what was going through my mind was how do I tell a guy that's giving up a part of himself forever that, you know, things could go wrong. There could be rejection. The transplant was on January 27th, 2015. To see Shane like the next morning be like a completely different person. Yeah. Like just just his his skin tone, his energy level, night and day. And uh, I mean that just I mean I just can't <laughs> I just I can't describe like the, the joy. Um, it was incredible to see, you know, how far that gift of life is, you know, because it impacts every part of your body and every part of your being, you know, and it, it's just a miracle. I've got a responsibility to Joey. His love for me is what I respect, you know, and show that back to him by taking care of the gift that he's given me. You can take your medicines appropriately, do everything right, check all the boxes, and you can still have rejection. Because at some point, that silent rejection isn't gonna be silent. True Raft is the only thing that's black and white that tells me that I don't need more treatment. It is a black and white number. But having a test, a blood test, that tells me I'm okay, keep at it, you know, keep living your life, keep enjoying everything through the sacrifice that Joey gave me, that it, it helps me sleep at night. It really does.